Cross donates $5 and says, thrills, chills, and monster grills. And with that, we are going to throw it on over to Snapcase with Chimera, destroy all monster girls. <coughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to Chimera, destroy all monster girls. Um, so let's do a quick roll call on the couch. Yeah. I'm Z64. My name is Megafire. I'm six. And then I brought a bunch of my friends from World Support, so I can get through <laughs> this. So, yeah, should we just get started right away? What do you think? Six, you want to count us down? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, this. <laughs> CX got me. All right. Let's start. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Thanks, guys. So we were playing the Berserk, right? So I'm not doing it all wrong. <laughs> Yeah, it was mad. Yep. So, Sykes, do you want to explain, like, the basics of movement and how this game works? Okay, so you're going to notice right off the bat that it's a lot like... Um, a lot of people say it's a lot like Shovel Knight. It's also a lot like Mega Man, um, but a lot faster. Um, her ba the biggest move that uh, Chelsea has is the dash, which basically, from either midair or on the ground, she can go from zero to full speed immediately. And that is what most of the movement tech in this game is going to be about. Um, she also has the Heartbeat Boost unlocked from the beginning, which is one of the abilities you'll get partway through the game playing normally. Uh, but in race mode, you start with everything. And in Berserk mode, you start with everything as well as you're put into this um, alternate costume that triples the damage that you do and doubles the damage that you take. So it's a very high risk, high reward way to play the game. Yeah, and I'm only starting with four <clears throat> hearts of um, four hit points. So going on spikes and uh, it's really dangerous because that it takes me down to HP, so I want to be really careful of that. <clears throat> One thing that is different about Berserk Race, you'll see that uh, you get to choose which uh, level you go into, uh, where in the base, base game you have a uh, map, it's a sort of world map where you can traverse uh, to choose the boss that you fight. Yeah, but since I'm playing the Berserk, everything is already unlocked, so it doesn't really matter what order I do things in right now. Mm -hmm. So I'll just uh, do whatever is comfortable for me at the moment. And here you're going to see basically what I'm doing. I'm skipping a mini boss by going on the top of the screen. Um, that would save me a bunch of time because... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, first step. <coughs> I was hoping I could avoid that. The Dark Souls of Chimera. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels like it. But yeah, so everything else, like right there, I got taken down two points of health because I landed on spikes and didn't mean to. Uh, so let's see if I can do this again. But at least now I get to show off the skip pair again with a mini boss. Basically, what I, I, I go kind of out of bounds for a while, and um, th then I come back in um, uh, when I hit a screen transition. And do you mind explaining, Syx, how? Yeah, sure, that no works? problem. Um, basically, how it works is that. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just a bit nervous. I'll shake it. <laughs> you got this. Get you got it. Yeah. Uh, basically, what happens is, um, oh, for a little bit of background, um, uh, I designed most of this game. Uh, Megafire helped a bit, uh, just a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, so I did all the level design in this game as well, all the graphics programming. Um, so when I was doing the uh, level design. I only put the collision plane up to the top of the screen. Um, and obviously, Chelsea is a lot more mobile than that. She just goes right over all the, all the collision, all the, the triggers to start the mini boss, and just goes straight to that uh, last area. And you can actually skip uh, quite a few mini bosses that way. She's just a lot more mobile than what some of the uh, geometry takes into account. And when it was brought up to me, I didn't fix it, because it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rule of cool. I mean, that's what uh, we went into. Six brought it up. He was like, if speedrunners break my game and I think that it won't ruin the experience for regular players, then we'll just keep it. Yeah, that's basically been the, the, the mindset. <clears throat> so coming up at the end of the stage, we're going to face off versus Anchovy. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely name. The Pizza Slime Girl. I'm just going to bounce her across the room. Meter with the chest bounce, <laughs> no, it's not a finish drop like that. Very nice. 
We can spawn in one of three locations there, basically it's her and two clones, so I got lucky, she was on the far, um, on the far left where I was standing, so... Uh, no death. <laughs> oh, yes, I don't know word. Uh, let's do some X stages. So, what are the X stages, like? Uh, the X stages are additional stages that you unlock in the main game, in the main story mode, but in race mode, of course, you can just pick them in any order you want. Every main stage has a um, little TNT plug that you can hit that unlocks an EX stage. And this is, and basically, they're just little tiny stages that are usually a lot more intensive than the main stages. But he made it look like nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And worth noting is that most of these stages don't have end bosses. Most. Yeah, you just reach the end and uh, <clears throat> you get um, rewarded with an item. But we already have all of those, so... Oh no, I missed this transition. Do, 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 do we mention the screen transitions at all? We yeah. haven't. Uh, basically what happens is um, whenever the screen does a little quake, I'm not sure if it shows up on stream, but um, so there's some moves you can do and they'll have uh, quake effects like when the treasure chest lands on the ground and when that happens it actually locks the camera and when the camera is locked and it's trying to do a screen transition at the same time, I guess it just gets confused. I have no idea what happens. Um, <laughs> but it, it makes it happen instantaneously and it skips the uh, screen transition animation. Let's do a little skip here, going on the spikes. It's risky, but it's worth it. Let's save some time. High risk, high reward. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just finish off. This is one of the mini bosses we can't actually skip, or we have to find a way. <laughs> it was the mini boss. Yeah. yeah. Not it, that it matters so much it, in Berserk. It's gone. Let's see if I can. Ooh. I'm a bit nervous about the spikes. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm, I'm safe. And I have to make sure I don't actually dash through the checkpoint girl, or I'm in a heap of trouble if I die. Yeah. Uh, there's a mechanic where you can actually punch her. It doesn't do anything except stun her for a split second, but the dash is fast enough that you can... If she's stunned, she won't activate. So you can just dash through her and she doesn't activate. You like to bully her. Yeah. <laughs> I was so basically, yeah, the, the, the bosses are kind of fast to kill if you know how they react and their pattern. But um, the one thing that's different between the race mode and the berserker mode is that um, I have to account for um, the invincibility frames are dependent on how much damage I inflict to the target. So when I'm switching between the modes, I kind of have to recalculate it in my head. Oops. We get a quick donation in. Yeah, go ahead. Fantastic. Mark Old donates $50, pointing my forehead in the general direction of Rockville to grant you great power. Bless you, Mark Old. <laughs> Thank, hey. you. Thank you very much. So there I actually managed to skip one of the um, mini bosses as well. Um, it got, there are a lot of different ways to skip them, but mostly it's going across the screen, I guess. Yeah, I really um, <laughs> dropped the ball on the geometry. <laughs> so you see some items throughout the stage. Um, there's a couple of notebooks and fairies, and uh, I don't remember in particular, do they unlock different things, or...? The notebooks don't. Um, each notebook is basically a little oh, yeah. one-page profile for each character in the game. Uh, all the bosses, all the enemies, and then some NPCs. Uh, the fairies, when you collect all of them, that's actually how you unlock the Berserk mode costume for the story mode gameplay in the first place. It also unlocks the um, Berserk mode race mode, <coughs> which is what we're playing right now. My timing's a bit off with uh, dashing and jumping, I feel. Okay. So let's see. Coming up here, we're going we're gonna to skip another mini boss. I have to drop down a bit, and I'm through the gate. So. Nice. <laughs> I was saying a bunch of times. I spent like two days on her. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gave her the time of day. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, screwed up. Let, let me try that again. There we go. See if I can clip into this. There we go. There nice. We nice. We're just going to do uh, the hover dash. It's going to be a really important part uh, later in one of the stages. 
Basically, when she uh, dashes, um, there's a few frames between each dash where you can't uh, reinitiate the dash. But if you are fast enough and you're almost frame perfect, uh, you can get another dash. It cancels your vertical momentum, and um, it brings back your full for horizontal momentum. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to be able to move around here. Just spamming enough buttons and... <laughs> And that's Mimi the Mimic, in case anybody... That was Mimi the Mimic. <laughs> that was Mimi. Rest in peace. Nah, it's fine. She'll be back later. One of my favorite things about Berserk is that um, on top of doubling your damage, sorry, tripling your damage, um, it also makes the enemies just absolutely fly across the screen. And for bosses, it's got some really hilarious results. That's why when we fought anchovies, she, you know, she jumped from one side of the screen to the other, and uh, Mimi, same thing. Uh, they usually they don't do that, but in Berserk they um, they take a lot of knockback. And then I'm gonna buff her to jump. It just sends me straight up. Ooh, gotta be careful around those spikes. Let's hope these enemies are nice to me. So far, so good. Another jump buffer, and we're at the end. Nice. <clears throat> so basically. Maybe everyone was wondering what I was carrying around this girl on my back. <laughs> I don't remember. You, you don't? <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. The crab girl. Didn't you make this game? Yeah. <laughs> Exposed. Oh no. <laughs> no, um, she's, it's just like a little kind of bit of flavor text, the story mode. Uh, she doesn't actually do anything gameplay wise, she just sits on your back. Um, and that's the plot of the stage. She's just taking her home. It's an escort mission. Yeah. Every game has to have one, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I was required by law. <laughs> <laughs> As you may see, like, I'm dashing through the spikes, and that might look a bit confusing, but when I'm in the dash animation, I won't actually take damage from, from the spikes, so that's used a lot throughout the run. Yeah, and that was intentional. That was the part of the gameplay thing, probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, so let's just go a bit at the top of the screen. Uh, another failed transition. Mikao is probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? There's a mini boss coming up. Let's, let's just do this. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a failed transition. But it's good. This screen you kind of have to wait for. I haven't really found a way around that. And back down into the water we go, with some spiky parts. Exciting. Ooh. Ooh. Mini heart attack. Uh, yes. Here we are using the harpy boost. What did we do before the harpy boost? Everything just got so much easier. A lot faster too. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a fairy. That was a fairy. Oh, right, that was the first one since we saw like the tooltip be displayed. Let's see what Pacifica does. Die. She does whatever she wants. Let's see. Okay, she's she's just gonna do this. She's she's dead. If I can hit her, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, can yes. I can hit her off screen. <clears throat> Got another quick donation here from Master Godzilla. Hey. Fifteen dollars. Greeting from Saix's house. Work girl <laughs> code is mine now. Have oh no. <laughs> Hashtag Chelsea for Indie Pogo. <laughs> <laughs> so you may want to call your house. Oh no. I don't have any reception here. Thanks, MG. We appreciate the donation. Oh. And yeah, this is the part I was mostly worried about. <clears throat> I don't want to do the platform of shame. I don't. You got I, this. Yeah, I really want to hit this. So what this is, this is the icy path skip. Um, what you're normally supposed to do is follow that platform uh, the entire way. That, it nice. is a really precise trick because you got to basically uh, do the hover dash. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Surprise! And here we're coming up at an actual end boss for one of yeah. the shorter stages. But we're going to finish him off. As you may have noticed, he has a lot of health, but Not anymore. he's dead. Not in berserk mode. Yeah, he's done for. <laughs> Okay, so now we clear the initial eight stages. So we're moving on to the last couple of stages. I guess you could think of them as the wildest stages. Mm -hmm. but we call them ship stages. And let's see if I can get through this screen. No, oh, so close. 
basically I can bounce off every enemy, but they have to be, they have to cooperate with me, and they, they don't like to at all times. Yeah, unfortunately the bounce is a little bit precise, but how it works is um, when you bounce, it keeps your, your horizontal momentum, so you can basically combine a dash, a jump, and then a bounce to just, and if you beat chaining bounces, you'll go really fast. And some hovering, dashing through the spikes. It's all good. Let's see, okay, these guys were nice to me. We missed and I can get the mini boss. Yeah, yeah, it happens so fast, it's hard to explain it. I mean, <laughs> uh, there I intentionally walked into the bug because the bug will only affect one point of damage as opposed to the spikes. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh. Ah, oh, my movement's a bit shaky. <laughs> my sons have killed you. <laughs> oh, did you? Are you responsible for this? Oh, this guy. <laughs> Sorry. 100% him. Oh, there we go. And here we get some HP replenished, thankfully. I see, Harpy Boost. That room used to be really tricky uh, before the Harpy Boost. You're welcome. Oops. Oh, sorry. I said you're welcome. <laughs> Let's do some hover boosting. Watch out for the spikes. I'm gonna do a little skip here. Let's see if we can do it. I didn't know you could do that. Oh my gosh, neither did I. <laughs> there we go. Now we're to ball. Yay. Nice, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I was full of surprises. So, Didi Dor Doroko, right? Or That's right. And she has no invulnerability frames. <laughs> so she just dies. Just falls over. I didn't know that. Did you? <laughs> Six? No. Oh, <laughs> Dorko, we made you weak. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, is that a representation of Dorko? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Poor guy. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Your oh. bot dies with no invulnerability frames. <laughs> Oh, okay. I really want to have full HP here because I'm going to take it real easy, walk into this guy, walk through the spikes, do a main invisibility, and off we go. Let's see. Okay, I'm doing pretty good, and here I'm getting my HP replenished anyway. And here's a really boring order scroller, so if you have any donations or announcements, go ahead. All right. So we've got a donation from me, KAO, for $10. Hey, hey. hey, Snapcase, we're rooting for you from the Chimera Discord. Good luck on the run, especially for oil platform skip. Nah. I'll donate again <laughs> if for first try oil platform skip. <laughs> for that. Yeah, so the oil platform skip is something I, I didn't even bother doing it because it's so hard. It's like, I think um, our, one of our runners, Mikao, is the most consistent at it, and he only hits it like one out of ten times or something. I don't, I don't remember what he said last time, but... It's something crazy like that, so I don't really want to try it. I, I, I'd probably screw it up. Let's do some quick transition skips. Here we go. Ah, I got a fire girl. Ah, my timing was a bit off there. I was in race mode configuration, like <laughs> waiting for it to come out of invisibility. Oh, I, I have to keep going, right? Let's keep playing the game. Okay. We're up to refights, which is yeah, pretty much what you would imagine. Oh, my timing was a bit off, but <clears throat> I'm fine. So basically, we're just refighting all the bosses again, with the exception of DJ Dorko. So. Poor Dorko. Yeah, poor Dorko. Mm -hmm. let's, so let's send and show we're flying across the screen again. Let's. There she goes. Oh no, she was the third one this time. Nah, ah, lucky. ah, she <laughs> wasted like so much time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Amelia. See if we can time this. There we go. No! Wow. She made that a bit awkward for me. I, I really don't want to die here because then I have to redo all the all the fights. Luckily, Mimi shouldn't be too hard. I hope I don't get to regret those words. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you got it. Last chance for this glitch. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually coming up on the last stage now, which is basically just the boss fight. It's not much of a stage. Um, it all comes down to this. And by the way, when you enter stages, that message changes usually. But on this stage, it's always, it's all, always uh, it comes down to this, right? That's right. Yeah. 
So let's see if we can get a clean killer here. Starting off with a saucy shot, waiting for her to come back in. Oh, did Jess get the double hit? Oh. You're supposed to do that twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's really rare. Okay, so slight refight again. Let's see who we get. Anchovy, Amelia, a go. And Mimi. Okay, here we go. Time's coming up real soon, actually. Do you want me to call it? No. Yeah. Time. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice oh, job, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Even though I got those deaths, I, I guess I made it within my estimate, so I'm happy, really happy about that. So yeah, this was Chimera. If you want to try it out, it's on Steam and it won't, it won't cost you a dime. <laughs> Completely free. And if you're interested in running the game, you can always come say hello on the, on the Discord. We also have a Suits and Sandals Discord. You can find it in the Twitter, uh, Suits and Sandals. Um, it, there'll be a link to the Discord there too. That's our general community Discord, not the speed running one. Yeah, those so guys are losers. <laughs> <laughs> we're cooler, we're cooler. Yeah, so I guess that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the run. Thanks. Great work, Snap. Thank you so much, Snap. That was a fantastic run. And just to follow up, Nakusu donates twenty dollars and says the world needs more Monster Girls. So I'm going to pose a question to you, chat. Which of those was your favorite? Which was best girl? Or I should say, best monster girl? And while you're thinking about that question, Nujum donates $10. Fellow Chimera runner here, I usually only watch the YouTube VODs on AGDQ, but I had to watch this run live. Go Snap! Oh, it looks like it's a bit of a tie here between anchovy and Mi mimic so i hope you're all having a fantastic time here at agdq 2019 just a reminder the next run coming up is another world 20th anniversary edition run by brandoats the next run after that is going to be Monster World 4, run by Cyclone. And don't forget to check out AGDQ.com for all of the bid wars and challenges that are coming up. We've got plenty of cool incentives for you to add on to your donations. Seven Sky KIBA donates twenty dollars. Hi everyone, hope you're all fine. Longtime viewer, first donation for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thank you all for entertaining us since a long time. Love you and keep up the good work. Big support from the French community. Manxum Bromide donates $64. Hey GDQ, I've been watching since 2016 and donating since 2017. It looks like I won't be able to stay up late enough to actually catch the Another World Run live, but Comet Striker looks amazing and I'm happy to chip in on its behalf too. I always felt like Another World's animation director enjoyed seeing the player character torn apart just a little bit too much. I look forward to seeing the game itself torn to shreds just as ruthlessly, even if I have to do so on the VODs after the fact. Good luck, runners. Good work. Prevent Cancer Foundation, Bromide out. Well, if you're still awake, Bromide, we hope you enjoy the run.
Corporea donates $250. Thank you so much for the awareness, love, and support you bring to this wonderful cause. I've enjoyed so many of these games and their predecessors. It's a joy to watch and a privilege to give back to the community. Well, thank you very much for your donation. Let's just check in on some of the incentives we have going on right now. I'm happy to say that the Castlevania Aria of Sorrow All Bosses incentive has been met. But we still need a little bit more for the Glitch Exhibition. Just under, th just a little bit, sorry, over $300. So get your do incentive, blah, your donations in for the Aria of Sorrow Glitch Exhibition. We also have the bonus run of Castlevania 3 coming up, currently at $10,216 out of 20000 So get your donations in if you want to see Castlevania 3. Lithcross donates $50. $50 because I kept forgetting to count transition skips missed. Also, best monster girl is clearly anchovy. Slime girl's best grills. Rivastyle89 donates $50. Greets from Italy, and good luck to all the runners and volunteers, donating both for a good cause, which has touched me very closely in the years, and for Jeff Goldblum to protect Rando during his runs. Submar donates $100. Hi, I always donate small amounts during ADD, AGDQ and SGDQ, but finally had some more money, the donation to Reader's Choice. And my current choice is the Super Mario RPG Culex fight. Looking forward to that later on this week. The Winged Seven donates $25. As someone with a grandpa who fought his way through stomach cancer 25 years ago and is thankfully now alive and well today, I couldn't think of a better cause to donate to. Keep up the great work to all the runners and commentators and everyone watching for doing what they can to support such a worthy cause. Facecrit donates $20. First time donator, long time watching GDQ. Always great what we as a gaming community can reach together. Keep up the awesome work. Good luck to all the runners. Greetings from Germany. Uleg donates $250. No comment, but thank you so much for your donation.
We've got a $100 donation from Anonymous with no comment, but thank you very much for your donation. Adeline donates $500. Today marks five years since I lost my father to cancer, and this year will mark 20 years since I lost my mother. Thank you to everyone in this community for coming together to support such an incredibly important endeavor. Well, thank you very much for your donation.